A Durham man is heading to jail for the next two years. He's been in, in and out of jail for the last 30 years. But the people he works for now say he'll have a job when he gets out. Our Derek Lewis explains why they're standing by him and shares his message to others. 53-year-old Gordon Cooper has spent the last 30 years of his life in and out of jail. He has gotten chance after chance after chance to turn his life around after an addiction to crack cocaine. I was already in the mix of, of you know, in the process of, of getting high, you know, and when you're under the influence, you know, uh, rational thinking goes out the window. He's been working at BU Cafe for a month now. He's been energetic. He's been... He's been a pillar in our, in our kitchen. But reality set in Monday when he was sentenced to two years in jail for stealing money to get more drugs. Got to get another one. But the sad thing about it is that um, you never get that same feeling from that first hit. So you're chasing that first hit time and time again. Gordon says this sentence is a wake-up call. He is planning to turn his life around. He knows getting help is a process when he plans to continue behind bars. When he gets out, his managers say there's still a place for him. Hopefully in two years I have three or four different jobs that he can choose from to go to. Hopefully he learns something while he's, while he's gone and that when he comes back home, the doors, he already, we've already had that conversation. The door will be wide open when he comes back. Today, he has a message to the Gordon in his 20s and other young adults. The message that we get from the streets is not real. He says what is real is the impact addiction has had on his life. Gordon will be working here until he starts his two-year sentence on April 5th. In Durham, I'm Derek Lewis, CBS North Carolina.